This is the BNSF GE Evolution Series ET44C4. It complies with Tier 4 regulations, and it's special from the other ET44 since it's a C4. That means the C means 3 axles per truck, and 4 means 4 traction motors. So the middle axle of this actually doesn't have a traction motor. That's uh, what it looks like, so there's nothing there. Well, this other one, there's something there. <laughs> so that's what you gotta keep in mind for when you're building BNSF locomotives. And uh, yeah, this is the successor to the ES-44. Um, we have the other Tier 4 GVOs right over here that's left. The Norfolk Southern and the Canadian National. Now, when this video reaches 110 likes, I am raising the stakes, by the way. I'll be posting the next GVO video. And then after that, I'll probably like branch out into other locomotives, probably like the SD-70 ACE. But anyways, let's get started on the BNSF. ET44. So let's grab some materials. We'll take out uh, nether brick stairs, black uh, concrete, dark oak uh, fence gate slab, an oak slab. Uh, what else? A stone slab, a chain block, end rod, uh, smooth quartz slab. So first off, let's go right over here. Add in another brick stairs, top of the tracks. I'm going to add another one facing towards it. Then to the side, we'll add in upside down, facing outwards. Then on top here, facing towards the front. And then upside down, facing the front. Then we'll add in dark oak fence gate in the middle. And to the side, open that up. Add in a slab on top of here. Then we'll add in end rods right over here. There are going to be two of them on diagonal. In the back, we'll add in another brick stairs upside down, dark oak fence gate, and then two smooth quartz slabs. Then we'll add in two black concretes over here. And then oak slab here, and diagonally forward, another oak slab. And then we'll add in an oak fence, two blocks all here, chain block right in the middle, and to the side of that slab. Also add in this acacia fence gate right here in the middle. Open it up towards the coupling. Then we'll add in a stone slab in the middle of this. And I'm going to add the wheel, so gray terracotta, upside down, dark oak stairs, hopper, and I'm going to make two more copies of this. Then we'll add to the inside another brick stairs um, to the sides of all these terracottas and actually just leave the middle one alone. That one doesn't have a traction motor, so we'll just skip it. And we'll add in another brick block next to the front and back axles here. And the middle part, we'll just add in slabs across like that. All right, so next up, uh, we'll add in the middle of this, a gray concrete. And this is going to go line up on top of this nether brick block all the way to the front. Then we'll add in um, a nether brick wall so it lines up with this hopper here and this other hopper here. Alright, so next we'll add in gray concrete in between everything and on top. And then uh, let's add in stone brick slab and stairs. So stone brick stairs here, upside down, stairs, and then stone brick slab. And then we're going to do that again. And then do that again just without the slab. Then I'm going to add in slabs and sides. So I'm going to add two, skip a block two, skip a block two. And actually, this one right over here. Uh, we'll just leave it as one, and we'll need to add in another brick stairs, just because we don't want that black at the front. All right, so next up, let's add in uh, another brick slab over here, and then another brick stairs upside down facing towards front, and let's add in the spruce fence gate over here, and open that up. All right, so next up. Let's add in a gray concrete 
we're going to make a 2 by 2 like that. And we'll add in stone brick stairs upside down. And we're going to make it 11 blocks long. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And we'll make a 2 by 2 in the back. And then let me check on what I did for this side. Yeah, we'll just add in a stone brick slab right over here. One in the back and then three in the front. The insides, we'll just fill that in with gray concrete. Like so. All right, so in the back here, we'll add in another brick slab. Two blocks long, and we're gonna make an L-shape like that. Add in another brick stairs upside down inside. And then two stone brick walls. Spruce fence gate. Open that up. Then we'll skip a block here and add in uh, another brick block here in the middle. The side we'll add in a dark oak stairs upside down. Add a hopper facing towards it. And a spruce fence gate to set the hopper. Open that up the other direction like that. And um, what we'll do right now is this is pretty much going to be a repeat of what we did in the front. So just like copy everything from this stone brick stairs all the way to the front. And we're going to build that right around here. All right. So once you've done that, it should look like this. So this is a new section. Going to add in also spruce fence gate inside like that. All right, then on the side, we need to change this up. So make an L shape of black concrete here instead. Because this side does not have a snow plow. And we'll add in a dark oak trap door right over here in the middle. Then we'll add in end rods uh, to the side of this. And we're going to make this so it's going to be three blocks tall. Like that. And we'll add in another brick slab over here. And then an oak slab. And then inside, we'll add another stone slab here. Then we'll add in a yellow concrete. Right here in the middle. Orange concrete. And then acacia stairs. And then smooth stone slab. With a birch fence gate, open that up. Then on top, we'll add in um, black concrete. Three blocks, actually just two blocks wide like that. So they're just making this side. And then another brick slab on top. And then two side of this. And then we'll also add in two blocks underneath here. Black concrete here in the middle. Then we'll add in a dark oak sign in the middle of this. Birch bun to the side of it. An end rod down over here. And then inside, we'll add in uh, polished blackstone bricks. Three blocks tall. And let's make it so it's going to be seven blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. And then right over here, we'll add in four. One, two, three, four. Black concrete, and then three, one, two, three, and then a black concrete. And then we'll add in nether brick slabs all the way across so it matches up with it. And then we'll make um, an L shape like this, like so. All right, then we'll go down underneath. We'll take out uh, acacia stairs, trap door, oak stairs I guess so add an oak stairs at the bottom and then acacia trap door and then acacia stairs like that and then we'll add in uh, yellow concrete and then uh, orange concrete at the top of this then I'm going to repeat this vent over here just facing towards the back so I'll make add two acacia stairs like that and then two oak stairs and then acacia trap doors, gonna close them up or open them up like that. And then gonna repeat this thing again. So add in um, yellow concrete and then orange at the top. And then oak stairs face the back. 
trap door, acacia stairs at the top. So we got that pattern down. And then to the side, we'll add in upside down, acacia um, stairs, and then we'll have four polished black stone brick stairs. So one, two, three, four, and then acacia stairs. All right, then we'll add in three nether brick slabs like that. And nether brick slabs on the top row of this to the side. So, and then we'll add in a lever right over here. I'm gonna make this face towards the bottom. In this little nook and cranny, we'll add in a polished black stone brick block inside like so. Okay, so next up, let's go <clears throat> back into the front here. And we're gonna add in um, orange concrete here in the middle. Yellow to the side. All right, so then we'll go inside over here. Go diagonally back and add three blocks wide, orange concrete. And we're gonna add in um, a two by two black concrete like that. Then we'll add in orange concrete right here in the middle. And then add in two blocks wide at the top. And then we're gonna make this into a two by three. Add acacia stairs to size this, three blocks wide. And then uh, right over here in the front, we'll add in acacia, I mean, <laughs> orange concrete, like that. And then acacia stairs, side of it, and another one facing towards the same corner. And then we'll add an item frame, add that right here in the middle, and a white bed. Now I know people have told me in Bedrock Edition, apparently you can't do this, like the bed looks different. So you can use uh, smooth quartz instead if you can't do that. So at this bottom part, delete this bottom fence, add in a sandstone wall with an item frame and a smooth quartz block inside. Then we'll add in orange concrete right over here, this corner, and acacia slab on top. Then to the side here, add in a two by three of orange concrete so and then we'll add in a black concrete on top of the snows orange glass pane here and then black glass pane two blocks wide black glass blocks um, iron bar to the side of it bottom part we'll add in two oh dark oak buns another dark oak bun in the front here and a birch bun here to the side then we'll add in acacia trap door in the back here open that up and acacia fence gate, open it up towards the outside. Fill in the inside, two black concretes like that. On the roof, we'll add in orange carpet. A row in the front and the back, and a row of acacia buns here in the middle. Then we'll add in a dark oak sign right here for the number plate. All right, so next we'll go in the back of this. Let's add in a two by two black concrete. Middle here, we'll add in three polished black stone bricks. Then a black concrete, and then three more polished black stone bricks. Then um, two blocks wide black concrete. I'm gonna extend that so it meets up underneath these nether brick slabs. Lines up like that. In the middle here, we'll add in a dark oak fence gate like that. And we'll add in black carpet so it covers up these um, polished blackstone bricks like that. And then we'll add in underneath here another brick slab. And I'm going to extend that so it meets up all the way to the back another brick slab. Like that. And the inside of this we'll add in um, yellow concrete. Three here and then dang will make this go all the way across. Right, that should look like this. All right, so then we'll add in yellow concrete right inside. It's gonna go all the way across to the back. All right, then we'll go line it up where this um, stone brick slab is. And we'll add in these two blocks wide, another brick slab, then skip a block to 
I'll keep on doing that till we reach the back. And we'll add in oak slabs in the gaps. Like so. And then in the back here, we'll add in three blocks wide, orange, concrete. All right, so next we'll go line up with this black stone brick is, go underneath, add an orange concrete in the outside part. Let's go all the way down. I'm gonna make it so it goes all the way to the front where the cab is. So it looks like this. Then we'll add in polished blackstone brick buttons in between everything. All these vents on the radiator in the back like that. And we'll add in um, another brick fence right there. And next we'll go over here where this gap is. Add an orange concrete inside. Just to make an indent. We'll add the BNSF logo inside there later. So now I'm going to go to our loom, we're going to make this banner, so take a black banner with orange dye. And we're going to make it go across the border, put it back in, make it go across the bottom half. I'll place this door banner in the back of the cab. Like that. Alright, so very good so far. So after we've done that, um, we're going to copy everything that we did on this side and build the other half. Right, so once you've built the other side, it should look like this. So inside here, we'll add in another brick stairs. Another another brick stairs facing the other direction, and then upside down again. And we'll add in a fence gate on the right hand side, open that up. And we'll go on to the side over here. And we're going to add in birch strap door, open that up. Another brick fence, and then a birch trap door, open it up. Then we'll add in two black concretes. And then a dark oak trap door, black concrete. Now, the other side, that will be a polished blackstone brick. And then we'll add in another brick slab, then polished blackstone brick, black concrete. And then, um, nether brick stairs upside down, nether brick slab, and then nether brick stairs upside down, face another direction. And then on top, we're going to make this a 3x3 three three of black carpets. Skip block here, fill this in, black carpet. And we're going to make this one a 3x4. It extends a little bit towards the front area like that. Then we'll add in a polished blackstone button. One over here, another one over here, and then another one right to the side of this. Add another brick slab over here. And the other corner we'll add in that polished blackstone brick slab inside like that. Polished blackstone button over here. And then we'll add in orange concrete fill in this void here. While the other side will add in um, polished black stone brick. Just two blocks wide here, you can add in a slab if you can't afford brick. And we'll add another polished black stone brick block here. And then um, I need a acacia slab. I'm gonna make that two blocks wide here. Orange concrete right there. Then we'll add in two birch buttons over here, another birch button here, another one here, orange concrete over here, polished blackstone brick block here, case trap door, close that up. And the other side, add in a uh, birch button here, polished blackstone brick, blocks over here and here, and an acacia button. We could have had that here and another one before that. All right, to make the BNSF logo, we'll add in four nether brick slabs, and then two dark oak trap doors, black concrete here, skip a block, nether brick stairs facing towards it, dark oak trap door, close that up, and then we'll have to skip a block, add in a nether brick stairs, two of them like that, 
it's, uh, and then we'll add an orange concrete here in the middle. And uh, acacia bun to the side of that black concrete. And we're going to make the same logo on the other side, just the other direction. So let's do it again. Four nether brick slabs, two dark oak, drop doors, black concrete, skip a block, nether brick stairs, dark oak, trap door, and then these two nether brick stairs, and a kitchen bun right there to the side, orange concrete here in the middle. Very nice so far. Then we'll add in a birch bun. And that's going to be uh, two blocks long here. Let's go diagonally down, another one there. So next we'll add in a yellow concrete. Two nether brick slabs. Yellow concrete. Two nether brick slabs. Yellow concrete. Nether brick slab. Yellow concrete, two blocks long. And nether brick slab. Birch bun here to the side. And we'll add in a ladder. Just add two ladders like that. Um, an oak plank inside here. And another oak plank over here. And acacia slabs all the way across on top. Like so. I also add in a skeleton skull. Inside this little nook. And let's add in three upside down. Another, I mean, stone brick stairs. Skip block, add another three. And in between that, we'll add in a dark oak fence gate right over here, and a stone brick slab inside this area right at the top for some controls. We'll also add in a spruce trap door right on top of here. Go on the other side, add another spruce trap door over here, and then a spruce uh, fence right here as well as stone brick slabs all the way across the side here. Like that. All right, so next up, we'll add in a yellow concrete right around, so delete this block right around there. And then we'll add in an oak stairs right after it here, another brick slab, a yellow concrete, the two nether brick slabs, yellow concrete, two nether brick slabs, uh, yellow concrete, nether brick slab, and then we'll add in a black concrete here. Alright, so next up, let's add an end rod right over here, sides, add on another one on the other side, like that. And we'll add in a nether brick slab inside here for these two little holes. And another brick wall inside, right over here. And we'll have to change some blocks inside. So what I did for this, since there's kind of like a dipping down part here for the G Gvos, I guess, I changed these blocks to make it black concrete. So I have to skip block here, add black concrete, just replace that. And then go right over here, replace these two black concretes, and then everything also on this side, black concrete inside. Like that, so we got that nice black concrete underneath there. All right, so next up, let's add in um, orange concrete right above the stairs. Make it two blocks tall, make it go all the way to the cab. And we'll add uh, two acacia buttons over here. And then we'll add in this polished black stone brick slab over here with an orange concrete inside and we'll add another polished black stone brick inside there and next up let's add in um, spruce button next to this and a dark oak sign up over here and then we'll add in these two acacia slabs here acacia fence gate over here open that up and next we'll add in gray carpet on top all the way across. A uh, nether brick fence here. Dark oak fence gate. And then nether brick fence. Dark oak fence gate. A uh, nether brick fence. And then dark oak fence gate. And then another brick fence. 
A chain block underneath. Another brick fence. Two blocks tall this time. Skip a block. Three blocks tall. Another brick fence. Skip a block. Actually, skip. Yeah, just skip a block. Two blocks tall. And then next, we'll add in dark oak fence gates in between, and then one before it here. Another dark oak fence gate over here. And then we'll add in to the back part. Just skip a block, add in another nether brick fence, two blocks tall. Skip a block, another one. Skip a block, another one. And this one is going to be special since it's like two of them close together. So that's going to be a dark oak fence at the bottom and then another brick fence. And then skip block, do the same thing for the other ones. So we got that. All right. So next up, let's go on to the other side. Over here on this side, we'll uh, skip two blocks, uh, two blocks tall, another brick fence, and then skip a block and add in two blocks tall, another brick fence, and the top part's gonna be three blocks long, add a dark oak fence gate here. I mean fence at the bottom. Then we're gonna go diagonally down, add in two blocks tall, another brick fence, skip two blocks, another brick fence, and then Right here in the back, or skip a block, add dark oak fence, and make a nether brick fence, wrap that around it, skip a block, two block tall, nether brick fences for the rest of them. Cross like that. Alright, so the next step, let's add in a acacia button right here. It's gonna line up with this yellow concrete side like that. And we're going to fill in the rest of the railings using a dark oak fence gates. So just add them in between. Uh, kind of like this. Just fill that in. Alright, so once we added the rest of the railings, it should look like this. Next up, we'll add in a stone brick slab inside here. And another one in the back. That's going to be right around here. That chain block over here. And a spruce trap door inside here. Now on the other side, this truck in the back, add a chain block, like that, and a dark oak fence gate, like that in the back. Alright, so then we'll add in a birch button right here to set this fence gate. And that should be pretty much it on how to build the BNSF ET44 in Minecraft. I hope you guys enjoy the video, and again, if this video reaches 110 likes, I will post the next Jivo <laughs> tutorial. Um, but yeah, if you guys do enjoy the video, hit the like button down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.